Hey guys, and welcome to a Stitch Fix unboxing video. I'm very thankful that I do get to do a Stitch Fix box because I know some of you haven't been able to get your boxes because of shipping distribution areas and stuff. So um, I hope this is relaxing for you. I have you in mind and I hope you are able to get your Stitch Fix boxes soon. If you didn't watch my previous Stitch Fix video, I will leave it linked above. But I mentioned in that video that I am doing the membership through Stitch Fix. I paid $40 up front so that I wouldn't have to pay a $20 styling fee every time. I get a Stitch Fix box. So basically I am getting as many boxes as I can to review for you guys so that I can just continue making these videos as much as possible for you. Just had to throw that in there as an introduction, but I hope you guys are doing okay. I felt like throwing in another Stitch Fix video because there's so much fun for me to make. They're so relaxing for me and I know many of you enjoy them too. If you are new here, I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing to my channel. I do upload every Monday and Friday and I upload a lot of Stitch Fix videos, a lot of fashion content. So if you are into those type of videos, definitely subscribe if you want to see more from me. We need a sip of coffee this morning. I've been staying up reading these two books, The Diviners and Sorcery of Thorns. Best books I've read yet. It's totally off topic, but keep liking these videos because it just lets me know that you guys are still enjoying these and it just lets me know to keep making stuff like this. Here is my information, the note for my stylist, and then um, the pricing information. So I will leave that over there for the end of the video. And then here is our return envelope to return anything that I do not want from this box. We've got two big packages in this one. I'm gonna start with this because this looks like we've got an accessory. Now this is cute. So this is the Dustin Whip Stitch Detail Crossbody in Coral. That is not Coral, but it's from Soul Society Handbags. The only thing is, is that I do have a brown crossbody bag, pretty much very similar to this, but I do like this. I'm into the short clutch bags right now. Man, I could stick one of my books in here. No. <laughs> it does come with the extra strap that goes over your shoulder. The inside this has little leopard print design in here. It's really cute. Now this is not necessarily something that I need. I am looking for more of a nude clutch that would go with more dressy outfits. This is my handbag right here and you can see like I mean the color is definitely what I was kind of going for. I even wanted something a little bit lighter. I probably will not end up getting this but I really do like it. I think it definitely is very similar to my style. I mean even just based on the purse that I have right now. So I do like it. And if you don't have a purse in your life that goes with everything this definitely would be be a good option. Ooh, we have lots and lots of different patterns in this. First item we have a satin midi skirt, which is something that I have been requesting. And this is snake skin. I really, really like this material. Um, this is from Vera Moda. It's a Tiller midi slip skirt in the shade beige size large. I've been obsessed with that ASOS satin slip dress and I've been wearing it with everything. This would be a nice break from that um, just to kind of mix things up. So I'm really excited to style this. I've been requesting a satin midi skirt for a while now. I just hope it's not too expensive because we really can't be spending much money because I do have a clothing haul coming out very soon. This waistband really does look like it's going to be a little bit too big for me. So we'll see how that goes. Also, it really does go really well with this purse. Very well done. Oh, we've got collective concepts. These tend to be a little bit pricey. This looks like a dress. Now I did request a lavender date night dress. My stylist knows that I love these oversized puffed balloon sleeves. I've been obsessed with that trend recently. Um, this definitely is a really pretty purple, but I'm looking for something more like a pastel lavender. The Yolanda ruffle detail dress. Definitely excited to style that for you. have more leopard print. Uh, this is really big. It must be like an oversized top because it says it's a medium. Um, from the brand Sanctuary. So this comes with elastic around the waist. 
And then the sleeves have a little ruffle. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be something that I'm going to have to try on before I say anything because um, right now, I don't know how I'm feeling about it. It feels like it might be a little bit pricey. I just feel like I have enough leopard print in my closet right now. The front of the shirt is like a crisscross and there's a button that snaps it closed. And I've had some bad experiences with snap shut clothing. <laughs> we will see. we have this Liverpool oversized blazer. This is definitely a different color than the blush blazer that I'm obsessed with from ASOS. So I definitely would say I, I don't need to buy another blazer. I don't have the money for it in the first place right now. Liverpool is a really good brand that I know it is very expensive. So I will not be purchasing this, but it is going to be fun for me to style for you today. It's a Jason printed boyfriend blazer, shade black, size medium. So that is everything in my box and I'm gonna go try everything on for you guys now. So I've had this dress from Francesca's for a really long time and I think it's the perfect time of year to pull this out, especially for Easter. But I wanted to see how this would look with that blazer. So I actually really, really like this look. The blazer is so loose and very lightweight. I think it looks really cute with this, especially with the black sandals to kind of collaborate the darker color. But I think I do actually like this dress with more of a light pastel color, but this is just an idea of how I could wear this if I decided to get something like this. But I think my shape kind of gets lost, but sometimes I like having days like that. Um, I don't know if I'm completely in love with it, then I have to have to have it. And this material is very soft soft and very flexible, which is really nice. I think having a blazer like that, that adjusts to your figure is really nice and definitely an essential to have. Um, I'm gonna say no on the blazer because I don't think that it's something that I'm looking for necessarily right now, but I'd love to hear what you guys think of this one. Okay, so I actually do really like this top and I think it's only because of these jeans. Um, I think if I were with anything else, I wouldn't like it. I think I would wear a bralette with this because this kind of gapes open. Um, so I think I would feel better if I was in like some type of bralette or something. I definitely would not wear a tank top underneath this because that's too much layering for me, especially for the spring. Like I just want a comfy top that I can throw on. I do kind of like what's going on with the sleeves right here. It's kind of cute how it flares out like that. I really did think that I was done with the leopard print obsession that I had for a while, but this is kind of making me want it again. But I think it's just gonna come down to how expensive this is because I'm not really wanting to spend money on prints like this anymore. I really just want the basics. So if this were like a really pretty um, neutral beige or white or even black top, I think I would go for it. But um, since it is print, I just, I think this is something that I would love for a while, but then I would just kind of throw into the back of my closet and not wear it. So those are my thoughts on it. I'd love to know what you guys think of this one. It's really just gonna come down to how expensive it is. So I do actually really think that this is a cute outfit. I think there's something that's kind of throwing me off though. I don't think I'm really into this print anymore. I'm definitely more into the solid colors right now. I'm so obsessed with basics. Now that I've actually been finding basics that work for me, I've really just been wanting to spend my money on stuff that will go with a bunch of other things. I think this skirt, I'm very limited on what I could wear with it. It is really good quality. Um, the satin is very, very, soft and smooth. What is making me not like this? I really think that it's the length. I think it needs to be a little bit longer. The waist um, just needs to stop like doing something weird up here. I just think I need something a little bit more springy. This dress is actually really cute. I'm actually kind of torn how much I like this. It's not the lavender color that I'm looking for and I don't think I'll spend my money on it, but I do really like it. There's a couple little details that I really like about this dress. I love the little ruffles on the top here. I'm not sure if you can see that. 
There you go. Right here, there's a couple little ruffles. The neckline on this dress is perfect for me. Um, I love the elastic waist. The sleeves are nice and sheer. So it's a really pretty dress. It's just the pattern for me. The pattern I just don't like. Definitely want something a little bit more springy, maybe a little bit more lighter color or pastel or even just like a neutral color would definitely be something that I would be more into. And it really is perfect for a date night. This is really cute. We've gotten a good look on styling these items and now it is time to look at our prices and our note from our stylist. I started today with a romantic style dress by Collective Concepts for you to try. I was unable to find lavender this time, but the deep purple can be worn on a date night year round. I was able to find a midi skirt for you this time. I also grabbed a boyfriend blazer that I thought would be just the fit you were looking for. The Soul Society handbags crossbody is the perfect size and color to carry all spring and summer. I hope that you enjoy trying on these fun pieces and I look forward to your feedback. I do like the things that Rachel chose for my box this time. This handbag is so cute and I definitely would be perfect purchasing this if I didn't have something similar to it. The animal prints have definitely been a popular item in my boxes. I think it's just really going to come down to the prices. This handbag from Soul Society, this is $59.95. I'm going to be honest, I, that is a little bit more expensive than I was thinking. Um, it is good quality, and if you don't have a handbag that goes with a lot of stuff, I definitely think that you could invest in something like this if you were willing to put that money into it, but um, a little bit pricey for me, so I will be passing this on. The Sanctuary Dorona Surplus Top in Beige Size Medium. This is $89. Man. Sometimes those prices really get you. It's probably a good thing I'm still shocked by it. Uh, too pricey. Um, I do like the oversized fit though. I think it's really pretty. I did end up liking how it looked on me more than I thought. The biggest thing that's turning me away from it is definitely the price, but even this snap button, I've just had bad experiences with it. I don't want to test my luck with it. So I'm definitely going to be passing this on too. The Collective Concepts Ruffle Detail Dress in Dark Purple is $68. Okay, now that's pretty reasonable for a dress too. That's pretty typical. And this is really good quality. I did like how it looked on me. I just am not in love with the color and I think I would rather wait for the lavender. So if you are looking for a really pretty date night dress or like a really dark purple printed dress, this is really pretty. And Collective Concepts um, can be pricey, but this one is actually pretty reasonably priced. Um, just can't spend my money on it right now. The Jason Printed Boyfriend Blazer in Black, size medium, $98. Look on ASOS and even TJ Maxx. You can find some really affordable blazers like this for so much more cheaper. If you are looking for kind of a one and done blazer, just that you can throw on top of anything and everything, um, I definitely would not spend the money on it unless you're just wanting like one staple piece and you're willing to spend that price. The last item is the Vera Moda Tailor Midi Slip Skirt in beige size large. This is $48. That is very reasonable. I'm very happy about that. Kind of tempted to get this. I'm not sure. We'll see. I might try it on again and see if I can come up with some more outfits, but hint, hint, I do have something in a haul video coming very soon. So this is why I've been kind of stingy in not buying stuff from Stitch Fix because I've kind of put my money towards something else coming up very soon. Most of the stuff in this box is pretty overpriced in my opinion, but I think these two items were priced very well, um, very reasonably at least. Still expensive, but definitely more reasonable than the other things that I got in this box. The stylist pick subtotal was $362.95. The buy all discount would be 25%, so subtract $90.74, and the order subtotal would be $272.21. Very, 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 very pricey. It was a lot of animal prints, um, but there was a lot of things that I did request. They just weren't exactly what I was looking for. And to the point with Stitch Fix that if it's not exactly what I'm looking for, I'm not going to buy it because it is so expensive. I think trying on these outfits is probably my favorite thing and just like kind of sharing my thoughts. But I do have a clothing haul coming very, very soon about some items that I've had my eye on for a long time. I cannot wait to share that with you guys. I definitely don't think that this was my favorite box. Really appreciate that she has been um, trying to get me stuff that I've been requesting. I think I just need to do a better job of explaining what I'm looking for. Kind of a lot of animal prints that I think I'm kind of over it now. I think I'm done with the animal prints right now. I'm looking more for a 
a pastel color palette. Those are just my thoughts on this box. I would love to hear what you guys think of this one. I will keep you guys updated in the box if I do decide to keep something, but at the moment, right now, it doesn't look like I'm going to keep anything, but that's just me right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give me that thumbs up if you did enjoy this and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.